The People's Democratic Party has, on Monday, received 1,600 new members from other political parties at a grant rally and reception for the party's presidential flag bearer, Atiku Abubakar in Yola, the Adamal State Capital. Atiku arrived at the Mahmoud Ribado Square, the venue of the event, alongside his running mate, Governor Ifan Yokoa, national chairman of the party, and many others. After receiving the new members, Atiku assured them that they will be given fair treatment and a free hand to participate in the party's activities a bit after 2023 general elections. He thanked Admiral citizens for always supporting him and urged them not to relent but ensure they vote for the PDP in the elections. It is a day to receive our brothers and sisters from other political parties. We welcome them as our brothers and sisters and even our children. I want you to accept them and I want you to integrate them into the larger PDP family. It is an umbrella that can accommodate all of us. Let me also use this opportunity to thank you all for your support in my political career. It's been more than three decades of political career in this state, and you have always voted for me. I am not taking that for granted. National Chairman of the PDP, Iorchia Ayu, and the Adamao State Governor, Umaru Fintiri, who received the decampees, said they have made the wise decision they will not regret. Who has served this country meritoriously? And Nigerians have recognized that as the only man who will get us out of the present difficulty and unify Nigeria. Everywhere we have gone in this country, Nigerians are thanking the people of Adamawa State. And because of that, Everywhere, everybody is coming back to the People's Democratic Party. Preparatory to the 2019 election, we made a lot of promises to our people. We have promised them unity and security, and we have delivered. We have promised them free education and human development, and we have delivered. We have promised them good agricultural policy and we have delivered. We have promised them infrastructure, we have delivered. We have promised them housing policy, we have delivered 1,000 housing estate in the state, first in the history of Adam State.